the Arizona Department of Transportation made a major change to its driver license manual. Cronkite News reporter Tyler Finger is in the broadcast center tonight, and he tells us why the state is hoping this could be a positive change for our rights. Yeah, that's right. To get your driver's license, you're tested on this manual. But now if you flip through to page 56, you'll find a section dedicated to traffic stops. The hope to prevent a deadly encounter with police when pulled over. The Arizona Department of Public Safety and the Arizona Department of Transportation both think this change will have a positive impact here in Arizona. You may remember this traffic stop. I do have a okay. firearm okay. on me. When a Minnesota police officer opened fire on Philando Castile, killing him back in 2016. But now an Arizona lawmaker is hoping a change he pushed for will prevent it from happening here. I don't want another Philando Castile. I don't want that to happen. And I want to make sure that we are trying to prevent um, any type of uh, in shootings that take place at traffic stops before they even occur. Arizona is one of the first states in the nation to change their driver's license manual to add a section like this. For state representative Reginald Bolding, this change is about education. We need to make sure that here in Arizona, a state that has a number of guns out on the street, a number of guns that are riding in vehicles um, of individuals, that we're having some sort of education. In it, they outline best practices that drivers should follow when pulled over by law enforcement, like things as simple as putting the car in park to letting the officer know if you have any weapons on you. It's always good to, to look at things in society that affect drivers, and if we can add some information that's a benefit to the everybody that's a driver, then, then we're certainly going to give a good look to that, and this was certainly one of those very positive situations. The Arizona Department of Public Safety was also involved in this change. For the director, it's a message drivers should read. If we can teach youth what to do when they're stopped and impact the next generation, maybe most of these miscommunications become something of the past. State Representative Bolding is happy the change has been made, but says the state and country still have a long way to go. It's important that drivers recognize what to expect when they're stopped, but it's even more important that drivers recognize and understand their rights. Other traffic stop suggestions include lowering the windows in your car, especially if they're tinted. At night, turning on all of the lights inside the vehicle so the officer can see inside. And a simple but very important one to remember, keep your hands firmly on the steering wheel. Also, they recommend listening to and complying with any of an officer's directions. In the Broadcast Center, Tyler Finger, Cronkite News.